I started searching for a faith tradition when I was 10 years old, and I knew the entire time that what I was looking for was a tradition that would teach that God speaks directly to all people. And it was about 17 years before I found Quakers, and I knew I was home in my second meeting for worship. The first meeting for worship that I ever went to was at my home meeting, 15th Street, and it was completely silent. And I was so annoyed because we got all the way to the end of the hour and I knew nothing more about Quakerism than I had when I walked in. But in that second meeting, somebody stood up and gave vocal ministry, spoke in meeting, and he said that George Fox had said, there is that of God in everyone. That's the thing that has stuck with me for years, and that's how I knew. I was born into Quakerism. My mom was Catholic. My dad was Quaker. I grew up attending both uh, Catholic Church and Quaker meeting in New Haven, Connecticut, where I was raised. And when I was 12, um, as I was facing confirmation in the Catholic Church, I was clear that was not the right landing place for me and became a junior member of New Haven meeting, which is part of New England yearly meeting. So I had never heard of Quakers before, <laughs> and I went to undergrad at Earlham, and uh, from Indiana originally, I had an influential high school teacher who pushed me in that direction. It was his alma mater. Uh, so I went to Earlham. That's where I first learned what Quakers are, who Quakers are, um, and I didn't really get as involved with Quakerism during my time there until my junior year when I actually went abroad. Um, I went to New Zealand, and part of that study abroad program was living at a Quaker settlement. Uh, really loved it, and the next year, senior year, applied to be in Quaker voluntary service, which I did, and which is what brought me here. So my introduction to Quakerism came in middle school from a friend of our family's, and my brother and I were spending a weekend with them when my parents were out of town, and on Sunday morning they took us to meeting because that's what they did. And in a strange way, the meeting felt very countercultural to me. And the other thing, I think, was that the first day school teacher I had took me seriously. And I actually, I got to talk about things that I'd been thinking about. And, you know, my opinion was respected. And uh, so I kept going back. What's kept me worshiping with friends has been, I think it's shifted over time. I, it's hard to really kind of, I don't know if there's a through line. I think one thing is that it is as a tradition. And when I say that, I mean like all of our little branches and, you know, different groups kind of all fit under what I consider to be the Quaker tradition. So um, within the Quaker tradition, there's a lot of room to move around. And when I came into Quakerism, I was an evangelical. And over time, I, while I still connect with some of that, uh, I've, my theology, my experiences, my understanding has shifted quite a bit. And I haven't run out of sort of runway in the Quaker tradition, so to speak. And so I think part of it is just the spaciousness. But even more than the worship itself, the, the theology of of Quakerism stood out to me. This was a faith that really uh, took the, the teachings of Jesus seriously. Um, it was an intensely personal faith, uh, one where you approach God without anyone between you, no mediator. And when you gave your life to Christ, you are one in whom Christ dwells, that of God in everyone. But it's also one that your life is a testimony, one that demands that you take the words of Jesus seriously when he calls you to live your life as if the kingdom of God is real, is coming and is here. And I thought that was missing in a lot of my experiences in church growing up where there was an emphasis on, on personal spirituality, but perhaps not an emphasis on living that lifestyle outside 
of the church or outside one's personal devotional life. And so I thought Quakerism bridged that gap by, by really transcending both faith and also practice. I love friends faith. I love that we believe there is that of the divine in everyone, and we believe that the realm of God and heaven is here and now. And so to me, there is no separation between expressions of faith, my spiritual life, and social activism, that it's all part of a greater whole of making manifest um, the vision that the divine has for us and how we can be with each other. It is at its best a community that is actively engaged in helping to bring about you know, the kingdom of the heavens here on earth, the way that Jesus talks about in the gospels, you know, that this isn't you know, supposed to be like a bonus level, like once you're through with this world and you move on to the next, it really is a utopian vision of what the world is supposed to be like now. Uh, and obviously it's, it's slow building, but uh, you put in the work anyway. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every other Thursday. You can watch all our videos in this playlist here. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here. You can support us through our Patreon here. Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.